All right there. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> this is uh, behind the scenes, a little bit behind the scenes, uh, getting ready to do an unboxing uh, for Back to Basics Baseball by Downey Games. Now, um, again, I'm always looking for games that uh, have every season available, and uh, Downey Games has that. It's a little bit unique, and I was not aware, totally aware. Uh, this is how it comes, by the way. It comes in this folder, as you can see. And I'm going to show you the parts, and I'm going to discuss uh, my initial thoughts. So you can look at it. It has uh, an interesting twist. Um, and so let's let's move some stuff to the side here. Seaver, by the way, last night pitched a one nothing. Uh, seven, uh, seven hitter using deep drive baseball. But anyway, I, I digress. All right, so let's take a look at the parts. And here you go. You have a card deck. The one thing that attracted me to this game is it's no dice. It's a no shuffle card deck. This card deck, a two-sided card deck, they're about, they look to be about three by five um, approximately, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't have any other three by fives around to measure against, but looks about that. And these cards, you, your your game is going to start off with a pitcher, and the pitcher is going to give you a result, and then there it's qualified through the letter. You're going to look at the letter, and that's going to tell you what kind of. Uh, this is probably a pull ground out, I imagine. And it's pretty instinctual. I mean, if you read the rules, it makes sense. It's two plus two. If you know baseball, you'll be okay. Uh, I will try to play this, and I'm going to play it very slowly the first time around. And I may, I, I for sure, I will make mistakes. I have no worries about making mistakes, and I will clear up those uh, uh, confusions as I go. And that's how I'll play. I'll, I'll make mistakes, and I'll play on. And then I will, after the game, I will look it up. And I probably will only not even play a whole game. I'll play three innings, just a test three innings to learn this game. But I really like it. It's going to be really super quiet. And that's very relaxing to me. And I like that aspect of it. So everything starts with the pitcher. You got a swing, a strikeout. So uh, pitchers, I guess, are graded or have five grades, right? And then, of course, they're going to have grades within those grades, so, but they start off, I imagine, with five grades. Batters are going to have more grades. They're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight grades. And this is basically the A is best. It's like uh, school, right? A is the best, F is the worst, and so on and so forth. Um, so you, you pull a card, and uh, then you pull another card, and it'll give you a result, and you write it into the into the scorecard. So I, I, I like this. I'm definitely excited about trying this. Um, so let's see this. So you get this deck. I'm not sure exactly how many cards come. Let's see. Let's figure this out real quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, Kurt is in the house, and Brandon Baker is in the house. Welcome, gentlemen. So I guess how many cards you get? Let's take a look. This is 10. So maybe, maybe 120, just off the top of my head. So this is cool. I like this aspect. No dice. So it's going to be real stealth. It's a stealth game. Then you get the rules, and I've been taking a peek at the rules. Let me see. Rules are here. Let's look at this. I have them folded already because I've been kind of thumbing through them. And it's back to basics baseball. I like that. That's a good cover for my for the uh, unboxing right there. It's got your field. It opens up and it's got, of course, the table of contents, Downey Games by Jeff Downey and Joe Bryan. Aha! The mystery has been solved. Joe Bryan from Sideline Strategy fame, I guess he he broke up, he met Yoko, and he took off, 
and he broke up the band and went solo. He's got a solo career now with Sideline Strategy. I'm sure Kurt will find that uh, interesting. Um, and here you got, uh, let's see, that's how this is broken up. Introduction, getting started, the pitch, swing, deep fly, fly out, short fly out, ground out, line out, pop out, strike out, strike out, A, B, C, or D. This is where if it's a strikeout on the pitcher, then you look on the batter, I believe, or it's on the pitcher. I'm not, I think it's if it's a strikeout on the pitcher, then you look at the pitcher's card. Uh, if it's a strikeout on the batter, then you look at the batter's card. And uh, he could be a guy that strikes out a lot or a guy that doesn't strike out very often. And so he'll have a letter grade to basically uh, rate the batter for strikeouts. So uh, you have that interaction. Same thing for walks. Then you have, I think these are like range and uh, error results. Then you have the swing. Ah, you see, okay, wait a second. I just understood this. So this is the pitch. These are the modifiers. So some pitchers would have straight out strikeout. Other pitchers will have strikeout with mods, with modifications. Then when it, if it gets to the uh, batter card, you're going to have the same. You're going to have strikeouts with modifications, walk with modifications. You can even have home runs with modifications, but it doesn't say that there. All right. Ground outs, range checks. It tells you how to do everything. And here it goes over the card. It tells you all about the card. And then it gives you an example of two cards, two little mini cards. So I thought that these were actually, at, at least I have ads, access to some PDF for cards. But we'll get that. To, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, the pitch talks about all about the pitch. And it's here, this is a conditional strikeout. So on the pitcher, you have conditional strikeout. Check the pitcher's K rating. And here you can see the K rating and so on. K rating would be right there. So this is a very cool game. Definitely, uh, it's it's worth it. It's twenty dollars plus um, plus the shipping, of course. So it's about thirty dollars. Uh, I could have that and blow it on something else, or I can kind of send some to Downey for taking the time and doing this. All right. So this is the symbols key. It teaches you all about the symbols in case you want a, a quick. Uh, guide to the, the symbols is a one pager. Then it gives you a bunch of different score sheets. This is the one that uh, I've seen this one before. So a bunch of different score sheets here. <laughs> yeah, Yoko kills all the fun. I think she didn't kill the fun for John. I think she made life more fun for John. All right, and uh, this is another scorecard they send. It's two different score sheets, if you will. And they give me a few samples of that. So I went over the, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it, the cards, the rules, the score sheets, and uh, the symbols key. Okay, so this is the negative. For me, okay, it may not be a negative for you, but then here are the cards. This is the 1967 season. So let's say uh, Brooks Robinson is up. Let's say this is the pitchers right there, and these are the batters. You got every player that played, they're all rated, they are all rated. Yes, sir. So Brooks Robinson, Blafari, Blair, Aparicio, Johnson, Robinson. I guess these are the starters. And then it's downhill from there. Let's see if the same thing for the pitchers. Uh, let's see. Games. Yep. Ah, not really. Not in order of 33, 26. Ah, it's in order of innings pitched. Okay. 22A, Phoebus, Rickert, Rickert, Dillman, McNally, Harden, 
and then Watt with 104 innings pitch. I believe he was a – so that's how they order it. So I guess this is my pitching grade, C. So he's not great, but Rickert is pretty good. He's uh, a B. Dillman is a B, and McNally is a C. Harden is an A. And that's how – that's the first thing you would look at. So I would have to kind of write that on the side. And I wish there were cards for it. I wish there were little cards or access to something template or somehow I can create cards out of it. This would be my batter. So if I have Brooks Robinson up, he's a C plus. He's a C walk, a C K, a D double, a D triple. He's a C home run. Um, a B RBI. A D jump, D stolen base, an A injury. Range is an A. Error is an A. He had 22 home runs. And that's how the game is. So uh, you'd have to kind of create your own cards. And I was thinking of just getting index cards. I wouldn't create everybody, but I would create the nine starters. Uh, the pitcher, and then, of course, eight guys. And in 67, you know you're not making a lot of pitching changes. So substitutions would be potentially limited to, like, one guy. You know, uh, maybe a pinch hitter at some point in the game, maybe one extra relief pitcher, but that's almost outside the norm because they're just – this was a pitching era, you know. So I, the reason I picked uh, 67 to print out, I, and, and, and unfortunately by accident I printed out all the pages. You know how when you're supposed to click only the page, I forgot and I just let it sit at all? And they all started printing. And by the time I figured it out, all 40 pages had printed. And there's nothing on these pages. So I got charged for 40 pages. Um, unfortunately, for just stuff that I'll probably never use. I'm definitely not going to use the American League. But never say never. As Sean Connery once said when he uh, left the James Bond series of films, he said never... I will never go back. And uh, he ended up coming back and becoming James Bond once again, I believe, in the – I'm not sure if it was late 70s or early 80s in a movie called Never Say Never. So I'm looking for the Mets because that's the reason I wanted to replay this season. This is Tom Seaver's rookie season. Tom Seaver's rookie season. I'm trying to pick up the, the card, the rookie card, but it's not easy. The top's rookie card. There it is. So Tom Seaver's at the top, and that's the one of the re he opening the opening series against is against the Pirates. So uh, let's see. Tommy Davis is at the he's a, an A batter. Doesn't see his average here, so I would know, but it does. Oh, it goes by at bats. Tommy Davis is the guy with the most at bats. Then it's Buddy Harrison, Eddie Cranepool, Ron Swoboda, Cleon Jones, Bushek, Grody, Charles, Johnson, and so forth and so on, all the way down. That's how this is set up. And again, it would take me time to pull a card. Then I'd have to check whatever data. Then I'd have to write it in. And uh, I'm going to try it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be a grumpy old geezer who's like, no, I'm not going to try that. Blah, blah, blah. This game is the best. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be narrow-minded. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embrace and welcome progress, and I'm going to challenge my brain. And I, will, I do have systems of learning these games, and I will use those systems, and I will learn this game, and, and I'm sure I'm going to have a blast with this system. Now, this is very easy to carry if you travel. You go on vacation somewhere and you travel, you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to just, you won't wake up anybody. You just, uh, right? Pull a card, flip a card, and that'll give you instructions. And then you follow that. So if the pitcher is a strikeout A, B, or C pitcher, he will get a strikeout. So let's see a B pitcher. A B pitcher, he's a strikeout F, so he will not get that. Oh, wait, this is a batter. Hold on. All right, so I pull a card here. Uh, so Seaver's a B pitcher, so he will get a strikeout, A, B, or C. His strikeout is a D. So in that case, he will not get a strikeout. So I guess you pull another card now, and it goes to the batter. 
right? And that's basically kind of how you play this. Um, and that's that's about it. So this is again. Let's go back to the title. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of this and pop it into the unboxing. This is long enough, 15 minutes. I like to keep my unboxings to 15 minutes or less, always critical. Um, where are the rules here? So this is the whole night. Now you can get just for free, by the way, for free, you can get every single season. So, I mean, so 30 bucks I get every season, except for the newer ones that I got to pay a little bit, but I'm not worried about the newer ones. I don't play that anyway. Um, I mean, you can't beat that. So I, at least if somebody went to the effort of creating this, I can at least put an effort into trying to learn it and trying to play it and creating an unboxing for the person and so on and so forth. So this is, by the way, uh, I could not find anywhere on the net a back to basics baseball uh, uh, unboxing. So this may be the flagship stream for back to basics baseball. And you know what, after spending, I initially did complain. I, my old grumpy self came out. I could not suppress that. And, um, I did complain. I said, Hey, where are the cards? You know, uh, but I didn't, you know, overdo it because, uh, you know, it's really about finding solutions rather than just focusing on the problem. Right. And I don't want to be like those groups out there that there are, are obsessed with one system or fanboys of one system and, and, and reject every other system and deny that any other system could have, you know, any value, you know, because they're locked in a system that was created in the 50s or in the 30s and 40s and 50s. And they say, no, that's it. This is all it's it's you know, it's it's McCarthyism. You know, it's uh, it's the Cuban Missile Crisis. We're still fighting the, the, the communists, you know. So anyway, uh, I digress once again. But uh, this is CP Cards and Dice. And I hope this was uh, informative and uh, somewhat uh, entertaining for a bit of time. And I'm going to shut this off. Uh, and thanks for Kurt and Brandon who came by and a bunch of other people who stayed quiet and listening and just kind of learning about this game. And uh, again, I think it's interesting. I think it's well worth. I, I, I have not played it yet, but my feeling is that it's well worth the 20 plus $10 shipping that I paid for it. I do get access to every single season. I, I, I realize uh, it doesn't have cards. But uh, you know what? It, I may be able to, if I could print these large, I don't even know if I can print these larger. But anyway, I, I, it's easy to read. I'll tell you, the font is pretty easy to read. And I may get just used to looking this up and just scrolling along the line, maybe use a ruler. Uh, I don't know how I would do that, but uh, I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it at some point. And this is CP Cards and Dice saying, uh, adios amigo. The, uh, I believe this is uh, Brandon says, nice presentation. Look forward to seeing some playing of this one next game. We'll see uh, when I'm going to get up to do this. Uh, join us um, in our payoff pitch uh, group on Facebook, our deep drive group on Facebook. And uh, we're also looking to start a, a payoff pitch uh, league as well. And uh, this is CP Cards and Dice, and I will see you guys soon.